all been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it in back day Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play Spit wetter than the harbor, yeah, I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock And I'm always key, I'm ready to unlock I be doing big things Welcome back, everyone, to a very special edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy Jan Lutis, and today marks the sixth anniversary of when these videos began. Back on January 29th, 2017, in the freezing cold woods, trying to capture the right take for seven straight hours. And I'm not exaggerating on that. But every single Sunday since then, we have brought you a message to help you, teach you, motivate you, or inspire you. And we have not missed a week for 312 weeks. And as I've mentioned in past videos, I, for one, never look at that. People point it out to me. Viewers reach out to me about it. But to me, truthfully, it was just all part of the goal. Because six years ago, I was going through hell. Every single part of my life was in pieces. I was broken, I was depressed, and all that I had left to me was my dream of helping people and speaking into their lives. And the option that was on the table was to either continue walking through life in that pain, in that hurt, in that just lowly mindset, or dedicate myself to something more. Dedicate myself to the goal and the dream that had been there my entire life. So I started. I dedicated myself to something more, but the discipline to stick to what I knew I was meant to create and bring to this world, the discipline to stay consistent in bettering myself so I could help others better themselves, that was the challenge. And I do not bring all this up to reminisce over the past or even reminisce on pain. I bring this all up because your story is no different than mine. With any goal that we set for ourselves, we have that choice in front of us. Become better, become greater, become who we know we are at our core, or to continue to walk through life with our heads down, just letting the pressures of life weigh us down. I believe life works in such an incredible way. And there is no doubt in my mind that everything happens for a reason. And that reason is to help you uncover more of who you are to help in your own process. In my story, I'm so grateful for my life falling apart in every single way possible and all at once. <laughs> because as much as that was hell to walk through, I would not change a thing. And it brings a smile to my face now because I know what I conquered to get here. It brings a smile to my face to know that when my life went dark, I didn't give up and I walked out of the darkness with a smile on. <laughs> and then now to take all of that experience, all that pain, all of those blessings, because that's what they are. Each experience, good or bad. To take all of that and now help others through their pain, to help them out of the dark, to see a greater light for themselves, to see that there is more to you and your purpose. To inspire others and teach them the deeper levels of the mind and the spirit, which is the center of everything that you are and everything that you experience. To come out of the pain and to come out of the dark with that as a result? How could you not smile at that? All things work together. And if you're someone who is going through those dark times, just know that the dark only comes to show you the light that has been in you all along. The more you dedicate yourself to yourself, to something greater than you, be it a goal, be it a dream, a vision, be it God. The more you dedicate yourself, you become inspired to keep moving forward. You become unstoppable on the road to your success because in that one instance, you get a glimpse of what you're truly capable of. When you dedicate yourself to something greater and don't give up at the first sign of trouble, you are sending a message out to the world. 
you were sending a message out to the universe that it's now your time. And if you can stay consistent in that approach, stay consistent in your own discipline to your habits and routine of becoming better, minute by minute, hour by hour, and day by day, you step into that greater version of yourself. You truly become it. You begin to walk in that power and walk in your own light. And before you know it, the pain that you felt, the darkness that you were in, is gone. It's gone. Once a week is for everyone, but once a week became my discipline, my practice for what I know I am meant for. That is faith. That is a belief in what I know I'm called to do. And in that practice, in that discipline, my own personal development and my own self-improvement process was underway. And you see it over the course of these videos. From week one to now week 312. Doors open because of that work and that dedication. And I bring all this to you today. Because what is that dedication going to be for you? Whether you're going through something right now or maybe you went through something years ago. It was all meant to lead you to a greater place for you. Mentally. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, there's a lesson in all of it. But that's the journey we're all on as individuals, to grow in all of these areas. But if you don't step into that process, if you keep your head down, weighed down by the weight of the struggles that you went through, you miss out on what you're meant for. The world, literally the entire universe, misses out now on what you're meant to bring to the table. As once a week was for me six years ago, I say this to you now, pick your head up. It's time to show yourself what you're meant for. You may not feel like it. Tears may start to roll down your eyes for a moment, but start. Just start in whatever way that is for you. No matter the small step, it becomes a great leap for you later in life, but it's time to pick your head up for you and start. January 29th, 2017, day one. January 29th, 2023, year six. January 29th is my birthday. And months prior to posting that first video when I was out in the woods practicing and doing what I could to just start, I hit every single failure you can think of in the book. I was frustrated, I was so frustrated. But in a moment of prayer, I poured it all out. I got an answer back, saying two simple words, your birthday. And then day after day, for months, I continued to try and fail, exhausted. I didn't want to listen to the voice that told me my birthday and I failed every single day up until January 29th, 2017, my birthday. And that was the day all this began. The day I stepped into what I knew I was meant for. Our birthday symbolized the day we came into this world. And once a week start date symbolizes when I chose to step into the next chapter of my life to put the work in. So I say to you, when do you step into that next chapter for you? Think about it. But I'm going to close this anniversary video off with that. If you guys have been here from day one, you have no idea how much that means to me. And if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button below. Because if you haven't noticed, we don't miss. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like this message on YouTube. Hit that thumbs up button below. Share this message to someone who you feel needs to hear it and can grow with it. And please subscribe to Once a Week if you haven't already. And if you or anyone you know is in need of a coach who can truly step in and help in starting that next chapter for you, to help you stick to the process, head to billygelifecoaching.com. You can set up a free call with me and I'm going to be right there for you. As I always say, 
go check out our Mindset Mastery course by clicking the link in the description. This course will give you the tools necessary to step into that next great version of yourself and unlimit so many areas in your life. Go check it out, guys. Link in the description. You can find it, read through it, ask me any questions you have, but go take a look and sign up. January 29th, guys, year six. Starts right now. As much as my birthday, the chapter begins. Figure out when that chapter begins for you. Until next week. You know I've been around and doing it, but now it's my time to shine and start proving it. I'm losing it, I'm moving it. The city is where I'm made, Bostonian flow, I kick it a back day, yeah, I got game, got in a fan way, we the city of the champs, every sport we play, spit wetter than the harbor, yeah, I'm flowing like the Charles, I be speeding on.